It's time for the grueling activity of sitting in math class. As I sit at my desk, I wait for my teacher to shove redundant information down my throat. I take out my binder and try to find a clean piece of graph paper. Then I take out a pencil, because we're supposed to use a pencil in math class. Only I like to use a pen, and occasionally a purple sharpie. Today I'll use the sharpie. Today we're supposed to be learning about how to multiply polynomials. I automatically assume that this, just like everything else we learn, I will never use in my life again. I write down the equation x plus 6 in parentheses times x plus 4 in parentheses. The lesson is if we multiply all the numbers, then we'll somehow get the answer. How this is supposed to help me in my life, I don't really know. Seeing no point in the lesson, I resolve to doodling. Hey, the shape I drew there kind of looks like a shoe. Like a pointy witch shoe. This is the initiation process of doodling. Since I drew a witch shoe, now I need to draw a witch. But not just any witch. This witch is going to be mad. I decide that this witch is mad because she has to do math, just like me. So I draw a speech bubble saying, I don't like math. This witch needs a broomstick. I'll draw one. And it should be sweeping, sweeping up dust bunnies. Hey, speaking of dust bunnies, I should draw an actual bunny. I quite enjoy drawing bunnies. I draw them a lot, actually. It should be running, running at something like a carrot. Perfect. Carrots are vegetables. You know what else is a vegetable? Broccoli. I don't like broccoli, but when I was little, my mom used to tell me that broccoli was really just mini trees, and I used to be really excited whenever I got to eat broccoli, because I pretended that I was a koala and I got to be eating trees, but then I grew up, and I realized that broccoli really isn't mini trees, and now I don't like it anymore. Asking around, apparently everyone else's parents told them that too. It's kind of sad to think that the world has been scammed on broccoli for half their lives, thinking they were eating trees. But you know what I do like eating? Soft serve ice cream, which is coincidentally equally as fun to draw. Hmm, the sugariness makes me want something salty. Like popcorn. The old-fashioned popcorn that you get at the movie theater. It's loaded with butter. Butter makes me think of fatty foods, and it usually goes with a soda. I'll make it Coke. That's the sugariest one there is. But since I don't like soda, I'm assuming some fat guy's eating this. Also with a hamburger, layered with cheese and meat, and cheese and meat, and cheese and meat, and cheese and a block of lard, and cheese and meat, and cheese and meat, and that's the end. Oh no, what have I done? It looks like it's gonna fall on my bunny. I know, I'll just build a wall to protect him, made of bricks. But there's gonna be an opening so he can get out. Sorry for scaring you, little guy. Here's a carrot. I think I'll draw a bird. Actually, I'm gonna make this a duck, because it's starting to look more like a duck. But this duck mysteriously can't fly. And he's really sad about it, because ducks should be able to fly. And he thinks of all the pretty birds in the air that can go wherever they want and soar through the clouds. Poor little duck. Oh shoot, the teacher's coming. I quickly flip to a page that looks like it has some math on it, and start drawing some random numbers. But of course, he has to stop and comment on how the dragon I drew doesn't really look like math, and I really want to tell him that the dragon's scales have more points than the lesson, but he's a teacher, and I can't do that. Once he leaves, I go back to my doodling page. Which, now that I think about it, used to be my math page. Wonder what happened? This pineapple reminds me of a Hawaiian luau, which makes you think of those big red flowers you see everywhere in Hawaii. You know what? I'm gonna make this little corner of my page a party, a Hawaiian luau party, with a tiki. You know, I haven't really been to Hawaii, but I have been to Costa Rica. The only thing is, all there were were iguanas, not any of those cute gazelles you see in Africa or anything. Speaking of gazelles, I'll draw one. It's cute, it'll be running, probably away from a cheetah. Um, but it kind of looks like it's humping my Costa Rica sticker, so I'll scratch it out. I'll draw a bird instead. A flying bird. Oh no, that makes me think of my poor little flightless duck that can't fly. Here, I'll give him a fish to make him happy. Now he's happy. He loves his fish. Love, love, love. You know what I love? I love cinnamon buns. These squirrels are interesting. They kind of make me want to do my own squirrels, like the opening sequence of The Twilight Zone.
let's draw a trail of evolving things. Like a dot turning into a circle, turning into a squiggly, turning into a star, and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it turns into a dot again. Okay, I'm gonna draw an exotic flower. Actually, you know what would be more fun? An exotic bird. But a really big exotic bird. Here he is. And lots of feathers. Lots of colors. Feathers on top of his head. Smile. He lives in an exotic forest with lots of other animals. And all the other animals really like him because he's so beautiful. In fact, they make him king of the forest. He needs a crown. And a robe. Beautiful robe. Purple. The color of royalty. And he has a son, too. The heir to the throne. Smaller, but just as beautiful. Hey, those lines kind of look like eyelashes. So, I'll draw an eye. And because I did that, I need to draw a nose and a mouth. But that looks really ugly and improportionate, so I will scratch it out. You know, I really like the purple color of this pen. You know it's also purple? Eggplants. I'll draw one. But this doesn't really look like one, so I will scratch it out. It kind of looks more like a gourd, and gourds kind of remind me of pumpkins, which are way more fun to draw, so I'll draw one. That makes me think of Halloween, so I'll draw a cat. Not a black cat, because I don't have a black marker, but I'll just make it mean anyway. A very snooty cat. A very mean cat. And you know what? It's going to get just what it deserves, because a dog will be watching him from afar. You know what? I'll just make him chasing. Because that's what dogs do. Heh. <laughs> mean cat. Now he's scared. Now he's gonna run away. Ooh, and now I can do- Oh my gosh, is that the bell? Jeez, that was fast. <laughs>